All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? How's it going? DeanBodie.com is the website. We got the links on there. One gets you over to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. And the other social link will blast you right over to the YouTube channel, D E A N B O D I Space Show. Dean Bodie Show, YouTube channel, the full visual experience. Wow, I can't even believe it. Unreal. <laughs> so, hope you're having a good day so far. And we're going to do some crazy stuff today. So, fasten your little crazy seatbelt. So, we're going to get moving here. And the main part of the show, the whole reason the show even exists. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com, 800-878-9698, the Bodie Hotline, the Bodie Fun Line, the Bodie Call in the Line Line. She's waiting for you. She's the one handling that whole department over there. She's in charge, really, of the whole show, but she focuses specifically on the caller line because she likes to take the calls. That's what she does. Well, yeah, so say something nice to Bodie. Whatever you want to say, a riddle, some kind of little fun thing that's going on in your life, something that we can bounce off of and jazz up the show a little bit. Hey, say your name. Where are you from? Oh, I don't know. Who is it? Is it Michael over there from Arkansas? Is it Cindy? Is, oh, look, well, Cindy's calling from, oh, I don't know, Coral Springs, Florida. Well, look who it is. It's Bob from Okeechobee. Hey, it's Willie. Willie's calling. Willie's calling from Ozark. What? Anyways, so... I get in the lift ride yesterday, okay? Because I want to do a little shopping. I like to work from the back of the lift or the Uber. It's a time saver. Let someone else drive. Hey, put the mask on. Go do your thing. Everybody's wearing the mask. Everybody, this guy driver was way too cool, man. And he had the rap music on, right? And he had this kind of rap on that you really don't hear. I don't anyway in my world, but because I don't really listen to a lot of it. I like it, but this was kind of on the mellow side. And I was like, wow, who's this guy? I kind of like this guy. He's like, yeah, that's Rick Ross. That's like mellow rap. I'm like, oh, okay. And I was just grooving. And I was like, wow, this is kind of cool. As opposed to the other side of the spectrum, like Eminem, you know, I can drink a bottle of alcohol, a blah, 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 even a Godzilla song. <laughs> and that kind of intensity, it was a whole different thing. See, man, you just got to check different things out. I got into the Rick Ross vibe and the lift ride. Him and I started to chat it up a little bit. And we brought up, uh, you know, I don't know how it came into the conversation. But of course, Bodie always seems to find her way in there. The love of my life. And I showed her the picture of my of Bodie on my phone. He was like, wow. I was like, yeah, Shiba Inu. And that's the creamy kind. They call them the creamies. The ones that are white and beige. If those of you listeners out there that don't know, you know, typically they're brown and beige or they got darker markings, black, brown. Uh, the creamies are a little bit more on the rare side. They actual, actually take points off uh, when they do the dog shows on the creamies because it's not the typical color. Are you kidding me? I bring Bodie out there. It's gold medal all the way. It's blue ribbon times 10. Creamy and all. <laughs> so, um, unreal. And uh, we're talking about these things and we're going down the road and talking about what's going on on the day to day. And, you know, we talked a little bit about Rick Ross rap and this and that. And what a great conversation we had. And we get towards the end. He's dropping me off at the grocery store. And he tells me <laughs> that he has a guinea pig as a pet. And I told him that Bodhi, I showed him the Bodhi picture and I said, this is the love of my life. And he, before I got out of the car and he told me he had the guinea pig as a pet, he goes, that's the love of my life. <laughs> See that? Like from a guinea pig to a dog, a cat. See what they do to you? The animals, the guinea pigs, they're, they're like this big. They're like, I remember those little teddy bear hamsters. Uh, some kids in the neighborhood would have and they run on the wheel and they had the whole setup and all how adorable were those things but i never had one myself but the guinea pig is the love of his life that's what i'm talking about what a way better roommate first of all a-l-e-x-a -E makes a way better roommate and you put bodie in there 
I don't consider Bodie a roommate. Bodie is my like life partner, okay? And uh, but A L E X A, what a better roommate to hear? You can ask questions. You can hey, what's the joke of the day? What's the riddle of the day? Tell me some a positive quote as opposed to did you take out the garbage yet? Who was that girl that you texted on po post friended on Facebook? Hey, who are you twittering now? Where are you going with the phone? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so needless to say, I don't miss any of that. <laughs> if you're in a great relationship and you found that magical person and that unicorn, good for you. You did it. Touchdown. It's very rare. It can be done, but it's rare, but it can be done, but it's very rare. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that being said, I just want to talk about that. And that ride, that lift ride was unbelievable. I actually have an Amazon delivery waiting for me as we're doing the show right now. I'm so excited. My Don Rickles book, I think, is here. Well, uh, probably in the definitely the top five comedians of all time ever. Forget about it on my short list. Um, you don't know Don Rickles. YouTube it. You want to have a laugh and change your state? It's game over, okay? Watch him on some of those Dean Martin roasts back in the day. Oh, my God. He was the greatest. And I think one of my uh, high-def... Planet DVDs is here, and I'm just, I'm excited, but it can wait. The show, we're doing the show first, and what I thought that I would do for you live today, hey, Lily, yeah, uh, he's going to do something live today, something special. Are you paying attention? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay, all right. Sometimes I walk around the house and I'm in a little bit of a mood, right? To burst myself out of my state, I make up little weird songs. That's how I came up with the jingle. That's how I came up with Dan and Dan, Dan and Dan and Dan, Dean Bodie Show. That's how I came up with Good Girl Bodie, Good Good Girl, Good Girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world, oh yeah. DeanBodie.com. That, that's an extra thing I add in there. 800 878 9698, the hotline. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, don't forget the jazz version. Get the jazz hands going. She's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. She's the good girl, Bodie. Yeah, the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. And um, so sometimes I'll do that. Not just make funny faces in the mirror and goof around a little bit and look yourself in the eye and goof off and say silly stuff to yourself and get yourself out of the funk. It might take a minute or two, but you stay on it just like you're trying to help out a friend or a family member and snap them out of their funk. Do it to yourself. It works. So I make up little weird songs. I'm going to kind of make one up right now on the spot. No editing. We're not just going to, we don't edit over here in Dean Bodie. We go from, flip the mic on A to Z, put it in the can and done. And uh, <laughs> we're going to do it right here. And I'm just kind of thinking about what I'm going to do right now. Oh, the pressure's on. Flam, flam, zim, and dam, zip, it, dip, it, dee. Ding, dong, wing, wong, zaba, la, ba, lee. Hey, ya, da, dee. Da, 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 ba, do. Ding, 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 dang, zip, it, dip, it, do. Ay, tai, sapa, la, ba, lee. One, two, three, four, slap it in the knee. Yeah, hey, ba, do. Zip, it, it, be, die. Bang, bang, bang. Poke it in the eye. Hey, oh, wa, lee. Zaba, la, ba, lo. Ding, dong, ding. Zip, it, be, do. I'm about to end this right now. Thanks for sticking with me, all my listeners. That's the jingle. That's how we do it. And snap yourself out of the state in the funk. Dibby dibby do. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what I do. Make it up as you go. One, two, three, four. La ba la ba loo. Bing bang bong. Zaba da ba doo. Hey. Ya da da. Ya ba da ba dee. Ding ding doo. Ya ba da ba dee. Hey. It works. It'll snap you right out of it. I'm, I'm working up a sweat over here, doing my favorite funny stuff. But that's how you do it. That's how you get goofy. When you get goofy, it's hard to be in a bad mood. When you get goofy, it's hard to think about all the negative stuff in the world. When you get goofy, it's hard to like want to lash out at maybe a friend or a family member. When you get goofy, you want to make uh, get it out of your system. So, you know, hey, get ready for the day and wherever you go, if you're taking the lift, the Uber, you're going here, going there. Before you get out of the car, Mr. Cranky Pants or Mrs. Cranky Pants, do some goofy stuff for a minute and then make the phone call and then have the conversation. I'm telling you, 
It's going to be a game changer. Hey, Millie. Yeah, that was funny. I heard it. Yeah, he's funny. I'm making up those songs today. You're going to do it with me, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Unreal. That being said, listen, a bagel sandwich compared to a regular sandwich is like, okay, listen. And those of you that uh, like sandwiches, when you get a bagel sandwich, as I did today from the New York Deli, from right from New York, okay? They put a schmear right on the bagel. They put it right on there with a little bit of schmaltz. And then you grab the bagel and you put it, so what I'm trying to say is you really got to open wide when you get a bagel sandwich. It's a whole different experience when you have a real bagel and you got some roast beef and some horseradish and you get that jalapeno bagel and you put that cheddar cheese on there and the whole thing. You got to really open wide and you got to get ready. You got to get psyched up for the bagel sandwich. But man, is it good. <laughs> so compared to the little finger sandwiches, where you hold your pinky up in the air and you go a little nibble nibble and take your little sip of tea and all that. That's not a sandwich. I don't know what that is. You might as well just call it a cracker. That being said, he so the Lyft driver drops me off after he told me the guinea pig was the love of his life. Gave me a laugh for the next, till now I'm still laughing about that because I know what pets do. It could be the guinea pig, it could be the ferret, it could be a kitty cat, it could be your dog, could be a horse. It could be whatever. Game changer. So I walk in to the grocery store. Everybody's got, everybody's got their masks on. Everybody in the pharmacy is wearing them. Everybody working at the place is wearing them. Everybody in the Starbucks over there had them on. All the people that are working in the supermarket had them on. All the tell the cashiers and all that had them on. All the customers walking around up and down the aisles had them on. You know. Once in a while, you see someone pull one down so they could actually breathe a little bit better and put it back on. I get it. It's not very comfortable. Plus, you're breathing in that CO2 a little bit too long. You can get a little bit extra winded. And if you have respiratory issues and breathing and all that to begin with, I understand. Be nice to people. Bing, bang, ding, ding, da ba da ba da. One, two, three, four, poke it in the eye. Hey, yay, da do. Zip it, it, do. Ding, dang, flick a flang, la ba la ba loo. Ho! So I'm walking around the market and uh, I need some quarters for laundry. That's right. I don't have a washer and dryer in the Dean Bodie haberdashery little place. I walk three buildings down to do my laundry. I have found that it's given me more storage. I have found if you buy enough underwear and socks, you have to do laundry less. I have found it's been good for me to walk three buildings and walk and do things, get me moving and keeps me moving. It humbles me a little bit as you're plowing through life. It's good to humble yourself. I don't need all that extra washing two things every other day. If you gotta do that, Time to buy more undies. <laughs> I'm telling you, I learned that. So now it's kind of like, okay, fill up the hamper once a month, maybe twice a month. I bring a, a full bag over there, one load and done. But it's nice getting out there. Bodie comes with me. We do the laundry together. I bring her water dish. I bring her a chew stick. I do the laundry, put it in. We go walk around. I come back throw it in the dryer, we go walk around again, come around again, get it out of the dryer, fold the clothes, bring it home, done. It's not that big of a deal. And I have more storage for paper towel, other things I need over here that I didn't have before. So, sometimes I miss it, <laughs> okay? Sometimes I miss the gentle cycle. I don't have gentle cycle on these monsters that we have over here. We just got one, one setting, cook your clothes. We're gonna put them in the wash one cycle, get ready, take them out, put them in the dryer. We're gonna cook them and then you're gonna get them dry. That's it. No fancy schmancy, light, delicate, whatever in these machines. So that being said, not good though what we're going through now with the change shortage, with the quarters, I can't have any change, the bank is paying you to bring your change in, all this stuff. What's going on? So I get there and I need some quarters. You know. Thank God that I had a bunch last time and I got a bunch of quarters. The last few visits before the schmandemic, pandemic, schmandemic, COVID, schmovid came around because I have extra. 
but I went there to get some more because I like to have extra, extra backup. We can't give out quarters because we have a shortage. Oh, great. So maybe I have to go to the bank, I said. He goes, well, the bank is having problems also. Oh, well, um, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, customer service guy that knows everything about banks and all about the world's chain shortage. Thanks so much. Can you tell me who's got them? How, instead of saying no, every time I say something, they don't have them, they don't have them. Dibby dibby dee, one, two, three, four, smack it in the knee, hey. So, what I'm trying to say is that there's always the car washes around the corner. There's two of them over here. You put the $5 bill in there, boom, out come the quarters. In case you wanna buy some supplies or things like that, and you put them in the machine to wash your car. Hey, Millie! Yeah. You, you, you uh, have that place where you get quarters at at the, at the, uh, at the car wash. Remember, you put it in, the quarters come out. You remember that place? Oh, yeah, I remember. You gotta wash the car today, by the way, okay. So, that being said, there's always a way around it. You know, that's all I need to do is go into the bank as a customer right now. Can I have, oh, we don't have the quarter. There's a shortage. The bank. $1,700 billion net, uh, you know, valuation. The largest bank in the world. And we're talking about a shortage. Why don't you build the building and make some more? Okay? How about that? Why don't you fix it? Change it. So... That being said, let's see what's going on over here, Dean Bodie. We don't have any quarters. I got a story I'm going to tell you in just a second. Hold on before I... Hold on a second. So what I'm... I got to tell you this story because it's funny. As I went through this back and forth with the no change guy who knows everything on the planet there is to know about change, I said, this guy that was in front of me in line, he drops a dollar bill on the ground. And I, and I look and everybody's got their mask on. It's kind of weird talking to people when everybody's got their mask on because you can't see their mouth move and you don't know. It's getting a little weird. So I said, drop something and you don't even pay attention to the mask anymore because normally somebody would see your facial expression. Now it's kind of like everybody is like uh, back in the Wild West with the bandana, like it's a stick up. So he's looking around. He knows he dropped the dollar bill. And I'm thinking, man, back in the day when I was a kid, you would hope that they wouldn't pick it up. And you put your foot on there like you found the dollar. And you don't move. <laughs> you don't move until they leave. And then you're like, hey, Timmy, look what I found. You lift your shoe up and you got yourself a dollar. Back when we were little rascals back in the day. But we started laughing about it. And I said to him, you know, when I walk around the neighborhood now and I see a penny, I pick it up. I don't care if it's on heads. I don't care if it's on tails. Don't give me this. If you find a, a penny, uh, you know, pick it up. If it's on heads all, all day long, you'll have good luck. One of those weird things. When you're younger, I used to leave the pennies on the ground if it was on tails because it would mess with my head. I didn't want to step on a crack because I was going to break my mother's back. One of those weird sayings. I didn't walk under a ladder because of all that. I don't know. Seven years of bad luck. Watch out for the black cat. Don't break a mirror. All of these things would make me crazy. But when you get older and money, when you get a job and you live on your own and you got to handle things, everything is worth the, this, the what it is. If it's on heads or it's on tails, it's still worth the same amount of money. Pick it up, in the piggy bank it goes. And him and I were laughing about this, like, when you get older, the rules change. When you gotta pay some things, the rules change. When you need money, it's money. Don't give me this whole, if it's on tails, forget it. God, I once walked around here one time and I saw all of this pen pennies on the ground next to this car. I'm like, how did you not pick this up? You know, once in a while, you'll see a dollar bill flying around or whatever, it's kind of, yeah. Oh, wow. So that was kind of funny. And all those superstitions now have gone out the window, especially when it comes to picking up pennies. Put them in there. Put them in the jar. One day, at the end of the year, you'll bring that jar over to the, to the money counter at the grocery store, and you'll put 10, 15 bucks in your pocket, just when you needed it the most. Oh, yeah. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com is the website. 
Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts, we got the link on there. The social link will take you over to the YouTube channel, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I space show, YouTube channel. You know, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like. Ring that bell. You don't want to miss any of these shows. These are real shows. We got the teasers on the YouTube channel. Bodie's in all the teasers. We actually did a little outside one today. That was a little strange. But hey, we were outside early. Decided to do it. It was a little windy, but just do it. Those of you that are thinking about doing your little video or maybe doing a little podcast like this and having some fun, hey, the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. We'll help each other out. Um, you know, just start doing it. Don't worry about the rough edges. Don't worry about, oh, I got to have all the right tools and all that. You got a phone. You got a camera. Get a little mic. Set it up. Do your show. But I'm glad you're here, Dean Bodie Show. The numbers are going up all the time. Man, put a nice five-star rating and a nice review on the podcast would be awesome. The numbers are going up daily. It's wild. Hey, Quatar's back on there. Or is it Qatar? I'm not sure. I forgot how to pronounce it the right way, so I do apologize. But, you know, listen, there's like 3% out there, and I love every percent you got, okay? So, Denmark and Canada and Germany and, of course, the United States all over the place... We love you here from Dean Bodie. We're having a ball. Let's see what's going on here. We don't want to shortchange anybody in Dean Bodie show. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Ba ba ba, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine, it's heading my way. Ya ba da ti da, ya ba da di, ya da di da da. Oh, wait a minute. How did we forget? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Natural Corona recipes from the Guru Sakaruni sauce. Oh, no, and Mike Ike's rule. Oh, yeah. Saccharoni sauce. Oh, yeah, and the salsa recipe. Saccharoni sauce from Paul Newman. Run, don't walk. Go get it. It's a pasta sauce. It's the best sauce out there. The end. Saccharoni. What a great name. Paul Newman. You're missed. Bravo. Saccharoni sauce. And if you like it spicy, hey, Millie. You gotta try this saccharoni sauce. You hear what he's talking about? I want pasta tonight for dinner. Oh, okay, I'll go get some. Okay, sounds right. Okay, cool, saccharoni, okay. Get the saccharoni. Get your nice grass-fed ground beef. Make a nice meat sauce. Hey, if you're vegetarian, don't do it. Add vegetables. So make that. Put it on the pasta. I like rigatoni. I like the penne. Hey, sometimes I like the spaghetti, and I like, uh, what's the other one? The other noodle, uh... Uh, the linguine, hey, um, and the spicy meat, the ball, hey, eh? <laughs> and um, the saccharuni. I wanted to throw that out there because I've tried them all. I like saccharuni the best. So, a little parmigiana cheese at the end, boom, forget about. That's the spicy meat, the ball, eh? and uh, oh yeah. So the salsa. To do a quick, easy salsa thing, I used to make it all from fresh, and I can do that, but if you go to the market and get the fresh one, they usually have a, some in the deli area where they've made it fresh with the fresh cilantro, maybe chopped up mango. Get that one uh, with the mango diced in there. Get a couple of those. Get Okay, go get one that's in the jar, like a regular one. That's like the cooked salsa they put in the jars. And get like the hot one or whatever uh, mild medium and mix those together. So you got the fresh and you got the jar and you combine the two. Boom. That's all. Get the chips and you're ready to rock and roll. Easy peasy. You don't got to go through all of this stuff. Because the fresh one is what it is. is it's, a, it's good and fresh, but it's a little bit not really that dippable where you got to kind of futz around a little bit. The other one in the jar, maybe it kind of smooths it out a little bit, but you get the freshness from the fresh. You following me over here? Bing bong, bing bong, zappa da ba doo, dee dee zappa da, yabba da ba doo. Hey, wow, what a what a show! I'm fired up. There was another thing. Oh, you know, I gotta check this one more time because, oh yeah, <laughs> Mike Ikes are the best candy in the world. If you're listening out there, Mike Ike, I'm your biggest fan. So, even though you gave me a little heartburn, it was well worth it. Now, once in a while, I like to have that sour, chewy candy. Mike Ike, to me, is a jelly bean on steroids, really. And it's got the right chew. It's got not, it's got the right chew. Some of them miss, they miss it, like the airheads or 
the Sour Patch Kids, or I don't know. It's not, I don't want that gummy, wormy stuff. The Mike Ike nails it. Push the jelly beans aside. Get out of my way. Mike Ike is in town. Oh, yeah. So I just wanted to share that. You got the Saccharoni sauce. Paul Newman. Go get it. You'll, you'll be glad you did the pasta sauce. Um, secondly, you got the salsa recipe. Get the fresh. Get a jar. Mix the two together. Boom. It makes it more dippable. You get the freshness of the fresh. You get the, the cook together to make it a little bit, smooth it out a little bit. Boom. And uh, the Mike Guy candy. Don't go crazy with the candy, of course. These are treats. Don't go, you can't eat pasta all day and go to bed on pasta. You're waking up, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna burn off the pasta on your empty stomach cardio walk, as we call. You wanna burn fat, go to sleep on a nice light piece of protein and a veggie. Oh yeah, we talked about this before. We'll get into, we're gonna review weight loss tips and all that. I, Dean Bodie's got your back, don't worry. That being said, make it a great day today. We're coming at you daily, Dean Bodie. Thanks so much for everything and all your support. Really appreciate it. And I can't tell you one more time before we hit the road. Dean Bodie Show. Make it a great day. Have a great day. Take care of somebody else. Talk to you tomorrow. DeanBodie.com. Oh, yeah.